Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. Pleased and privileged to be joined on the summit today by the new head women's basketball coach at Southwestern, Coach Jeff Zinn. Coach, I know you're a longtime high school coach within the state of Oklahoma. Been around for for quite a while there. No, that's not an old joke right off the bat. I promise. But I, I know yes, you have yeah, longevity within old, the state. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and ties to a number of high schools, including Anadarko most recently. Uh, you coached there up to 2021, 20, but now taking over at Southwestern. Coach, congratulations. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's, it's an honor to be here. Uh, you know, I, I think it says it all when, it, when you, uh, you know, say I'm the fifth coach here. Uh, that's, that's, that, there hadn't been a lot of coaches, but all of them have been very successful here. And, uh, uh, you know, we plan on trying to continue that. Uh, maybe in different methods, but, uh, you know, the university here has just, uh, it, it feels like a home. Uh, you know, I was at Oral Roberts last year as an assistant, and uh, you know, there's a big difference between, you know, Tulsa and Weatherford. You know, the community here is, you know, great. Uh, the, the people I've met on campus are have been extremely welcoming, and uh, you feel like you're part of a family here. I, I agree. I think Weatherford is a special place, and and I, I enjoy my time to get to visit there as well. You talked about being just the fifth coach, and the history at Southwestern really is something to speak of, especially with women's basketball. I mean, a lot of success in the NAI period, especially near the end of the, the time of the NAI, and then, of course, the last decade as well. Anna Darko, and I know I mentioned that a little earlier, you were there for about a decade it's just about an hour's trip away to Weatherford. Uh, so yeah. I'm sure yes. you're very familiar with, with what, you know, what has been going on there, maybe seen a game or two. Uh, yes. Yeah. We were in the same conference as Weatherford the uh, whole 10 years there. So, uh, you know, that was, it was always one of the, uh, both gyms were always full of Anadarko and at Weatherford. So you could say, you know, we were kind of rivals. So, and uh, I've been reminded that, by people in the community a little bit but uh and teased a little bit but uh but no it's i i've always known this is a great place and uh, as far as the history uh my grandparents were huge women's basketball fans back in the john lofton days in the uh you know 70s and early 80s and uh so I, i've known a lot about this program for a long time well coach i, I know you also know some of the players one of them in particular Laney Zinn, your daughter, is on the roster there, and, and she'll be heading into her sophomore season. You have a number of other players that return as well, coming off a team last year that, uh, again, a solid performance once again for Southwestern, and the cupboard's not bare. No, it's not. It's not. You know, it's, you know, you, you lose an All-American, that's, you know, that that's tough, but, uh, you know, that's part of the business nowadays, and, uh, you know, and and, uh, and another kid to a Division One school, and then of course Bethany Franks, who uh, graduated uh, last year. But uh, you know, there's still Carly Gore, Macy Gore. Uh, those two have logged a lot of minutes. Uh, Morgan Smith uh, played a lot of minutes last year. Uh, Shamika uh, Smith got some time at the post, and uh, and so they're you know ladies in. So that so you do have several that have. Uh, are used to winning night in and night out, and we've tried to we've tried to pick up. It was so late when I got the job that uh, the portal was almost closed. We couldn't we couldn't go get any returns, but we picked up a couple guards that I think will help us. Because uh, you know we're going to try to have to offset those losses of those players. I think with numbers and you know adding depth to this team and uh, developing the players that return that didn't play much last year. Uh, we're going to try to fight people with numbers and. Uh, and uh, try to keep everybody fresh throughout the year. We're here on Midwest Sports Now. We're speaking with Jeff Zinn here on the Summit, and I encourage you, please, to consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Speaking now with Coach Jeff Zinn, who is a, a state coach of the year in the state of Oklahoma numerous times, a couple of state championships as well in, in the high school ranks. And, Coach, I, I talk about that because – you know, recruiting is a big deal, and you were talking about you know needing to fill those numbers as well. So, well, obviously, looking into to next season, you go through this year, but you'll have an opportunity to do even more recruiting. I, I would imagine you have a lot of ties already to so many different places, and and familiar with with so many of the schools already. Uh, was that a benefit to you? 
Oh, it's it's been huge, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to make as many phone calls as possible, but I'm getting more than I'm uh, I'm making from, uh, you know, like I said, if you've been a high school coach and involved with the Girls Basketball Coach Association in Oklahoma the, this many years uh, and served on the board with that, uh, you get people reaching out. And and the nice thing is, you know, we have kind of a, we had kind of a unique style of play where, you know, I have coaches that know what's, what's going to fit the program here. And uh, so yes. I, that, that's a huge help. And, you know, there's there is enough girls, Oklahoma's talent enough rich that, you know, I think a lot of our recruiting can be done right here in Oklahoma. And that's been something that uh, we've seen from Southwestern in the past as well. And players there in the state that you, you look down the roster and you see Oklahoma listed beside their name as well. Coach, uh, an, another opportunity you might have too is, is uh, a camp coming up. You have an elite camp coming up in, in August. Uh, yes, we're very excited about that. Uh, we, th- of course, that was the only camp we were able to get continued for the summer. We actually added that one on for the seventh because we knew it'd take us some time to get ready for that. But no, as you know, you, you mentioned Oklahoma recruiting. We have, I think we have 28 to 30 applicants already. Uh, you know, and you can always expect people the week of to, uh, to jump in and there's still some phone calls and, and, you know, we send out some invitations to coaches, but we also send out an invitation to players, and we're, we're getting most of those to come on the 7th. And uh, I would say Texas and Kansas, we have probably as many of them as we have Oklahoma. So, you know, that's something we, we, we can uh, – we got a good enough facility here. We can take it. We can take as many as want to come to that. And, uh, and you know, it's – as far as the recruiting, uh, seeing all some of these kids – we haven't had an opportunity to get out and see all of them. So if they can come to us, it, it would really be great. Plus you get to know them at an elite camp. You, you get to know the kids a little bit and, uh, and put a face with a name that you remember right off the bat. Coach, I have one other question too. The schedule has you all starting in November. Uh, naturally, then that's a good feel. It seems normal again. I, I like talking about schedule starting in November, GAC, MIAA, crossover there uh, but you talked about the style of play and, and southwestern women's basketball for the last decade we we've seen a certain style of play we've seen an up-tempo style with a, a defense that's really kind of picked up within the last two or three years in particular uh, what what do you what are the fans going to see with uh, you at the helm now uh as we get as we get the depth built uh it's not going to change from when I was at Anadarko. We are, you know, we're going to, we're a man-to-man team that we are going to pick you up from the time you inbound it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I expect us to be the hardest working team, you know, uh, in the nation. Uh, and everything we do is built off of our defense. And uh, offense, it's not the same offense, but you can, you can expect to see – Lots of threes going up, uh, an open floor to drive. And, uh, you know, we're just going to have to do a little bit better. You know, with the losses they had this year, we're probably going to have to do some more things to get players good shots. And uh, But a lot of that can be done off the defensive end. But, you know, uh, I've said that word a few times now. We're, we're going to be about defense. And, and that will probably be, that you know, they did. They've done a great job defensively here, like you said, the last couple of years. But uh, this year, we're going to have to be even better on that end of the floor. All right, Coach Jeff Zinn, the new head women's basketball coach at Southwestern. Coach, it's a privilege to get to visit with you today. Thank you very much. We will clearly be following you and and the Bulldogs in 2022-2023. Success to you all this season. Thank you for taking time with us today here on the summit. Thank you. I appreciate it.